Okay, in this video, we'll be talking about CR charging circuit. A CR charging circuit is like this. There is a capacitor which is connected in series with a resistor. And then you have a switch S here. At time equal to zero, the switch S is closed. When you see the battery is here, you know that it is charging the capacitor. Okay, by using Kirchhoff second law, the Kirchhoff second law states that the sum of all the potential change in a closed loop of a circuit is equal to zero. So you know that in this closed loop, the summation of all the potential change is equal to zero. So E minus VC minus VR is equal to zero. VC is the potential difference across the capacitor, which is also equal to Q over C. VR is the potential difference across the resistor, which is equal to IR. E is the EMF, which is the electromotive force of the battery. And during charging of the capacitor, I equal to dq over dt. This is important because during this charging of capacitor, I equal to negative dq over dt. But now you are doing the charging, so you know that I equal to positive dq dt. Okay. Then you change I equal to dq dt. And then E times C is equal to the maximum charge can be stored on the capacitor, which is equal to Q0. So you know that Q0 equal to CE, okay? And then E is what? E is V0. V0 means the maximum potential difference across the capacitor, okay? And then when you see DQ, and then when you see DT, you know that you are going to do your integration. When time is equal to zero, that means that when the switch is just being closed, the amount of charge on the capacitor is zero. And then at a variable time t, the amount of charge being stored is an unknown charge q. Okay, And then by this powerful integration, you can finally get this formula q equal to q0 bracket 1 minus e to the power of negative t over cr okay q equal to cv q not equal to cv not which is equal to c e okay this is what we have done just now q not equal to c e equal to cv not and then by using this formula you get another formula which is v equal to v not bracket 1 minus e to the power of negative t over cr bracket okay and then from this formula, you differentiate this with respect to time, okay? You know that Q0 is the maximum charge of the capacitor, so this is a constant. When you are differentiating a constant, you get zero. And then, you finally get I equal to I0 e to the power of negative T over CR where the I0 is the maximum current inside the circuit, and then the maximum current inside the circuit is equal to Q0 over CR. And then Q0 over C is equal to V0, okay? And then V0 is equal to E, okay? Q0 over C is V0, which is equal to E. So you know that this is equal to V0 over R, which is equal to E over R. This is very important because sometimes you need to remember what is the formula for the maximum current. Okay, so for CR charging circuit, you get these three formulas and then you can plot them on the different graphs. Okay, for this one, you know that Q is increasing and then you know that V is also increasing and then the current is decreasing. And then Q is the charge on the capacitor. V is the voltage across the capacitor, and then I is the current in the CR circuit. Okay, I want to introduce you to one more variable which is called time constant tau. Okay, one time constant is equal to C times R. So after one time constant, you know that the charge is now 0.63 Q0 and then V is now 0.63 V0 and then I is now 0.37 I0 okay 
so you know that after one CR then you get 0.63 Q0 okay okay sorry I didn't draw, draw this very beautifully okay Okay, so you know that after one time constant, Q will become 0 0.63 Q0, and then V will become 0 0.63 V0, and then I will become 0 0.37 I0. Okay, please find the time constant of the following circuit. Just now, the circuit that we have drawn is like this. But now you have a very complicated circuit. So what do you do? You will simplify this diagram into this diagram. Let's say you are now the current. You have no choice but to move through CA. So you know that CA is in series. And then now you can choose either to walk through here or to walk through here so cb and cc they are in parallel and then after this you have no choice but to walk through ra so you know that ra is in series and then you can choose whether you want to walk this path or you want to walk this path so that means that these two are in parallel and then by by changing this diagram into this, that means that by finding the equivalent capacitance and the equivalent resistance, you can finally get this diagram. And then you only find the time constant, which is this times this. Okay. So the most important thing is that you have to convert all this diagram into the diagram that you have known. Okay, so now what you have learned in the CR charging circuit is three formulas. So you can plot them on the graph. What if the value of CR becomes very big or very small? Okay, for these two formulas, you use this graph. When the time constant tau is very large, the Q takes a longer time to increase or the V takes a longer time to increase. But when the CR is very small, the Q or V takes a shorter time to increase. So for the I here, you plot this kind of graph. When the time constant is very large, it means that the I will take a longer time to decrease. If the time constant is very small, then the I will take a shorter time to decrease. That means that it will decrease faster. Okay, let's now do a question. An uncharged capacitor C, which is connected in series with a resistor R and a battery of EMF E. Okay. So this diagram is shown like this. Plot the graph to represent the variation of the potential difference across the resistor with time t after the switch is closed. Do the same for the potential difference across the capacitor. Okay, so by using Kirchhoff second law, you know this relationship. And then what you have learned just now is the potential difference across the capacitor. So this is exactly what you will do for the potential difference across the capacitor. And then by substituting this equation into this equation, you know that Vr equal to this. So you can plot Vr like this. Okay? This is very important because you really have to know which one is the voltage across capacitor. 
which one is the voltage across the resistor. A DC supply of 24 volt, which is connected to three capacitors, a resistor and a switch S is shown. When the S is closed, please determine the time constant for the charging circuit. Okay, you know that A and B are in parallel and then this one is in series with this. So you can find the equivalent capacitance. And then finally, you use the equivalent capacitance times the resistor. You can get the time constant. And then please find the time taken for the charging current to drop to 1.6 times 10 power negative 3 ampere. Okay, so by using this formula, you know that the value of I0 is equal to Q0 over equivalent capacitance times R, which is equal to V0 over R. Okay, recall what you have learned just now. Okay. This is the one, okay? So sometimes you really need to remember the formula for maximum current, which is the maximum potential difference across the capacitor divided by the resistance. Okay? And then by using this formula, you can find the time taken for the current to be this value. Okay? Then the time is 2.64 seconds. The graph below shows the variation of charge Q in a capacitor of 3000 microfarad with time T when it is being charged through a resistor of resistance R by a battery of EMF 12 volt. Okay, so you know that when time is equal to 24 seconds, the Q will drop to this value, phi R. Okay. By using this formula and then you compare with the value of this thing, you know that when T is equal to 24 seconds, Q is like this. So you know that T over CR is equal to 2. And then you substitute for T and also C. Then finally you can get the R. Find the value of Q0. What is the value of Q0? Just now, we say that Q0 equal to CE. So you just use this formula and then you can find a maximum charge on the capacitor. Okay. So in the next video, we'll be talking about the CR discharging circuit. Thank you.